From 2K 2D, Jacko has a few options. If you commit to 236K, you can just pull and throw the servant after. But if you're close, you can plan a servant, OTG close slash, and 236K into servant attack, then dash 5k to get some extra damage and a disjointed meaty with more corner carry. This only works if you're close enough to get the close slash, so keep that in mind. It can also be worth it to just plant the servant and go into some of the setups from the previous video. From 2P, she doesn't get much outside of 6P unless they're close. If they're really close, you can go into 6H, but it's not very practical. But you can go from 2P into 6P then super. The damage isn't great, but it's good to know. Close slash far slash 5h and close slash 2h 236k are simple combo options from close slash. But close slash 2h gives a servant plant with enough time to 5p then servant attack to get a 5k dash cancel into a close slash ender. This gives a lot of corner carry and even wall breaks from mid screen without meter or wild assault. Far slash into 5h doesn't combo to anything without meter or servants in place, so just summon and throw a servant after. IEDJS isn't plus enough to combo into close slash, so the go to should be 2k. However, IEDJH is much more plus and can easily go into close slash. Air to air JK combos into air dash JS JH, then 6H for a servant pull. When they're sandwiched between a servant, combo into the servant attack, then do a delayed close slash 2H into the attack again, then close slash into whatever ender you like. Or for better corner carry, you can do a 5K and dash cancel it into close slash, then an ender. If they are far away and get hit by the attack, you can loop it into itself, but it's tough to get the third one to connect. Same goes if you start with a 2k 2d since the gravity increases. But if the servant is in front of them, it's pretty easy to get all three attacks, but this is far from optimal, at least in terms of resources. Instead, go for 2k 6h as an easy route. Or 2k 6h 214p, then do it again to add a little extra. This idea works the same from the shield command. And 6h first hit cancelled into charged wild assault gives a held servant for a servant attack to keep the combo going. It's good to microwalk to make sure you're close enough to keep the combo going after you wild assault. After the 2D Oki mix mid screen, 5k dash cancel into close slash dash cancel gives great corner carry without using extra servant gauge. Because of the bounce 2h gives, close slash 2h into held servant lets you get a held servant attack and throw it to give a wall bounce, which easily leads to wall breaks. The more optimal routing is to replace held servant attack with 236k, then go into 236k for a second servant plan. The third route is to drop the servant after 236k and set up a spacing for a whiff pickup. This does slightly less damage than their last route, but it's pretty cool. The same routes work if they get hit by a meaty servant on Oki, but the wall will likely break before you're able to finish the combo. In the corner, the 2k 2d Oki into close slash OTG loops into itself twice. The same works from the throw Oki with 2p instead of close slash, but it's pretty difficult for me. Anti-air 5p lets you dash up close slash 6h into servant pull and attack while giving enough height to drop and run up 2k 6h. Anti-air 5k tends to be more space, so linking a second one into a dash cancel gives a nice easy combo. 2s is the best anti-air she has, especially since it combos into 2h to get a servant combo. With your back to the corner, you can piece together the parts from previous combos to get a corner to corner wall splat if you include wild soul. 6p counter hit on the ground needs wild assault, but a quick 6h into servant gets the job done. To optimize a little more, after 2k attack, do 5h first hit into attack, then follow up with a dash 5k. If they're in the air, you need to charge wild assault into servant plant, then the same routing. It may not give great oki, but it gives great corner carry. 2k on counter hit comes into itself, so you can use it in hit confirm on counter hit if you're playing it safe. The close slash counter hit combo is similar to the non counter hit, but is much easier since you can 2D instead of 5P. When getting a counter hit close slash during sandwich pressure, using countdown lets you get big damage, especially if they weren't FDing. It's also good to know that the countdown explosion unsticks them from the wall. Counter hit 2D into plant servant, then 2D again seems to be the most consistent way to get the right height for the rest of the combo, including dash cancels. The corner carry lets you route into corner combo variations if you're doing it from mid screen or closer. Then the second hit of 5h as a counter hit, dash 2k 6h plant into 5k dash cancel for the ender. Or just spend the meter on super if they have any risk and you're not confident in the confirm. If you've built up a little risk, this can be pretty damaging. After pressuring them to max risk in the corner, tap dust gives a full combo assuming you have the servant still around. These are a few of the routes that work, but assume no wall damage so in practice they'll likely be cut short. The only way to convert from far slash and 5h is rc. After that, plan a servant and 2d into the attack command to set up corner carry. 
The same routing works from 5H, Tap Dust, and Throw, so it's good to get this rock down. The nice thing is that even if you already had a servant placed for sandwich pressure, it won't impact the routing. In the corner from Throw, delay the RC so you get PRC, then close slash 2H 236K attack. This should wall break assuming you got a hit before making it to the corner. If you already have a servant out, then you don't need to plant one. From Tap Dust RC, you can go into the close slash routing. I find the held servant attack into throw version to be the most consistent. Since Jacko relies on building risk to do a lot of damage, when doing combos, try to keep an eye on the risk gauge. When possible, try to fit in a super right when the risk gauge reaches zero so that it keeps the unscaled damage. Though if you have a lot of wall health to work with, it will be more worth it to just do the whole combo. Thank you for watching.